you know, I, I was doing quite well. I, I started off making, you know, the Flamingo Kid there, all the right moves. I did Waiting to Exhale, the Five Heartbeats, Little Richard. I mean, I just, you know, I was, you know, Fox was my studio. And I remember, um, and I came up along the same time as what they call the Brat Pack. So my friends were Matt Dillon and Machines and Rob Lowe and everyone. And I remember an executive called me into his office and it was discussing this movie, they were developing a movie. And they were like, yeah, you know, we really like you and stuff like that, you know. And so I, I found myself in these movies where they would have one black character. So he said, yeah, so we want you to play the best friend. Uh, we're thinking about, you know, maybe Tom Cruise or so-and-so, so-and-so. And this is the girl. She's a hot new girl and so-and-so. And I was like, okay. And um, he said, you don't seem that excited. And I said, well. <laughs> <laughs> I said, so you think that I'm going to walk into a room with any one of those actors you mentioned, and that girl, even though she's white, is not going to notice me. <laughs> now, I said, I said, I don't have to get her, but you acting like she's not going to even notice me because I'm black. That's not going to happen in real life. <laughs> and he started stumbling and everything, and I was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, but, I mean, that's just real. <laughs> you know, and, and then I got a call from my agent says, oh, you know, the executive there didn't think that you were, you know, really nice and you were like, you know, Humble. you were a little full of yourself. I said, why? Because I told him that the white girl might notice that I'm standing next to the other guy. <laughs> so that's the kind of things we, I used to run into in Hollywood when I was young and it was, um, you know, I think it's changed a little bit, you know. I think, I think since I got to play, you know, Madonna's Black Jesus, I think they kind of, <laughs> I think they kind of noticed that maybe they might notice me. <laughs> But, you know, it's, it's a shame because I think of how many actors that have um, come before me and have come after me that have had to deal with the same kind of situation. If you think about even Denzel Washington, his first kind of real lead was Spike Lee. Well, that's the thing, what you're getting at, what everybody's getting at. You have to control your image. Yeah. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. Now, sometimes if you're controlling your image, that may end up as a man dressed as a woman you know, pistol packing mama like Tyler Perry. But Tyler, at the same time, I'm not mad at Tyler because he's given a lot of people a lot of work. He does a lot of stuff. I don't care for all his movies. I'm sure you, you may or may not care for all his movies, but like they say, he's getting it done. He's putting his stamp on it. I, kind of, I disagree with the notion. Somebody mentioned like if Oprah put her money in it. It's not about Oprah putting her money in it. It's about a studio putting their money in it, which is what Tyler has created. And that's, that's a fantastic thing. You have people like Spike Lee and, you know, Robert Townsend. They were doing their thing and getting it together. So we have to control our images. And, and, that's, and we have to control our images. And we have to accept the good and the bad being on screen. 